This new year, it's time to do wellness on your terms. That's where Ollie comes in. Thanks to their delightful gummies, you can actually get a good night's sleep. And you might finally stand a chance of staying focused. Because this is the year of you. Discover Ollie vitamins and supplements. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. You have arrived. Welcome to the Aspie World. Here's where we talk about anything and everything ASD in an upbeat and informative way. And now, here's your man on the spectrum, your autism ambassador, Daniel Morgan Jones. It's three-time Pro Bowler and Super Bowl champion Keyshawn Johnson. I want to introduce you to my new show, All Facts, No Breaks. I'll be giving you the real reactions to the latest sports news and inviting guests in the sports and entertainment world to break it all down. Tune in and make sure you listen and subscribe on Spotify. So here's Asperger's Syndrome Explained. Everything to know about the subject, the topic, the actual condition. I'm going to talk about right now. Guys, welcome back to the Asperger's World. My name is Dan and I have autism and ADHD and I make weekly videos all about this stuff. So if you want to join me on this journey of helping 10x the life of amazing individuals on the autism spectrum, really getting us a peak in their potential, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below by clicking that notification bell. So Asperger's Syndrome, I'm going to start at the top. So Asperger's Syndrome is not a term that's used anymore. Asperger's Syndrome was a term that was coined in the 1980s by um, Lana Wing, um, which reflects the work presented by Hans Asperger in 1942. Now, this work was predominantly used well, you know, on young boys to kind of come about the idea of autism and, and other types of um, neurological conditions under the autism spectrum umbrella. But then in 2013, they realized that people diagnosed with Asperger's were, going, were being left off help lists and weren't being able to get the support and help that they need because they didn't have the term autism in their diagnosis. So they put Asperger's syndrome within the umbrella of autism spectrum disorder. And the same thing happened in 2019 with the ISD, I think, is or IDS, which is another kind of uh, diagnostic criteria because the first one was the DSM-5. So moving on from now, well, on earth is Asperger's syndrome? What does it mean? You might have heard Elon Musk talking about it and other people and Albert Einstein and all this stuff. And basically what it means is that it's people on the autism spectrum, like myself, who have lower support needs than somebody who may be nonverbal and uh, unable to use the bathroom on their own, right? So you have an autism spectrum, so it goes all the way from like people who can you know, hold down a job and hold verbal conversations like I can all the way to people who will need 24-7 care because they really need help with, like, extreme executive function. Now, Asperger's syndrome, you know, has been around, like, it says we know since the 80s, and there's been hundreds and hundreds of people diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. I myself was diagnosed in 2013, just before they changed the nomenclature with Asperger's syndrome, which obviously is autism. Now, I'm going to leave some links down below if you're interested, and if you want my Autism Life Hacks PDF book, you can download it at autismhacks.net. But the interesting thing about Asperger's syndrome is common characteristics. People with Asperger's syndrome will typically have like a monotone type of talking voice. There'll be one consistent tone and they will deviate. There'll be no inflections on their voice, which is interesting. And a lot of people say that's kind of robotic, but you know, I think it's just comfortable. People with Asperger's syndrome will have an obsessive interest in something usually quite intellectual. Um, it could be something like trains to science to automotive industries and those things become obsessions that they learn everything about and they'll become very, very knowledgeable in those areas and they'll even become experts in those areas and sometimes probably work in those areas. Also, people with Asperger's syndrome tend to have um, little to no social life because they find social interaction very hard, including eye contact, and they'd like to be more conservative and be home researching, studying, and all that kind of stuff. Among other things, people with Asperger's syndrome typically suffer from sensory processing disorder, meaning they're susceptible to different types of um, stimuli from you know third-party environments like sound and smell and taste and things like that and this obviously impacts their ability to want to go out inside and do anything and also impacts their ability to sleep properly as well so they'll probably have a lot of sleep problems which is really really interesting i think i give 77 uh symptoms of asperger's syndrome uh, asperger's syndrome in a uh, video i did recently on my channel so definitely go check that out Guys, if you like this video and think it's educational, please share it on social media and give this video a like. It helps me out a lot. If you want to talk to me, comment down below. I read every single one. Peace. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this podcast. Make sure you are subscribed because there are people listening right now who are not subscribed to this podcast. I can see you. Make sure you subscribe. Okay, guys, see you in the next one. Peace.